Hello everybody, this is Chris from Suicide Silence and you're watching Tattoo.com. Hey fuckers, it's Rockwell Anderson here at Rock on the Range 2017 with this son of a bitch. You are Eddie Hermita from Suicide Silence. And this cool guy, Chris from Suicide Silence. And, See, and, and California. And California. Hey, well, Riverside originally, or yeah. that area, yes. we live in Riverside. Are I know. Really? Yeah. Oh, For now, we're moving in like three weeks, but Eddie knew that. Eddie's not a Riverside dude. Nope. But you're not I'm cool. From the Bay Area, which makes me cool in my own way. Yeah. Not as cool as Riverside. <laughs> Just not. Just not. And much more expensive than Riverside. Oh, a lot more expensive. A lot more expensive. But luckily, I'm, uh, I'm like grandfathered into San Francisco, so I've got a lot of friends and connections. So my, my rent will, is usually a little bit lower than most. Well, uh, enough about real estate and where we live. Let's talk about Suicide Silence. You guys play tomorrow, so yes. why are you here today? Well, we're, uh, we're here today to do press stuff, and we're here to check out the show and... Uh, enjoy maybe some lightning uh, I don't know man and then um, Zippo actually asked us to do an acoustic set which I don't think they knew what they were asking us uh, to do but uh, we're doing it and it's gonna be fun and uh, it'll be exciting so you guys do acoustic that's gonna I'm gonna transfer one to our new place we're moving from Riverside to Texas just north of Dallas and we're gonna be opening up a record shop we're still gonna do all this press stuff that we're doing record shop and we have a theater across the street where we can do acoustic stuff so now that i know oh, that suicide silence does acoustic <laughs> i'm putting you guys on the fucking spot saying you better when you roll through dallas you guys are gonna come and see us right bring bring your coffee mugs dude yeah oh and we're gonna be serving coffee <laughs> at our new place coffee and tea hopefully coffee and tea those are the only two coffee badass. and tea badass and vinyl and vinyl records in gallery, maybe we'll have some Suicide Silence shots up in our gallery. Do well, you have any vinyl pants, though? No. I, I'm really partial to vinyl pants. Oh. They're well, really tight and sleek. Show my, they show off my butt pretty well. San Francisco should have a lot of those. Yeah, yeah, I should get, be able to get a lot of that in San Francisco. Yeah. The rave scene's still pretty good happening out there. Rave, gay, it's all, yeah. it's, it's all, they all dress very similar. Yeah. It's, all, it's all one. It's all, it's, it's all one family. So it, it's, it's all one happy community, right? Yeah, yes. It's a gay community. It's happy. It's fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, but you guys released a new album fairly recently. Um, tell us real quick about that. We talked about that at Aftershock. Yes. You and I did last yes. year. So now that it's out, tell us a little bit about um, how the fans are receiving it and how what the critics are saying. Not that anybody really cares, but what's up? Um, well, I mean, it's. Um, it's getting a slow start. Um, it, it definitely, the fans are doing everything in their power to um, boycott and 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 uh, pretty much be the opposite of what normal fans do. Uh, uh, we still love you guys. We know you'll come around. Uh, we, we know you're, you'll listen to the record at some point. Um, uh, again, I, I stick by my, my word of we didn't really write this to be some, like, sensational hit-making, like, you know, impact making uh, record. We wrote it to please our, our ears and to please our souls. Just like the uh, just like the cleansing. Yeah. It's exactly what we did for the cleansing. So we went back to that. Yeah. And it's funny when I started. We started personally thinking about the fans after the cleansing. And that's when it's, it's funny. It's funny how that works. You know. Yeah. So we just went went back to what we did the first time. Okay. You know. And uh, I, I'm thankful that the fans and you guys are. Uh, care you know so uh if if you like it cool if you don't it's cool uh we're thankful that you're giving it a shot and listening and hating it love it i'm thankful you guys hate it or or dislike it so i mean <laughs> awesome stoked nothing yeah. against the fans because they make you who you are yeah, we love them. but love they them. can be love fickle them. and but but i gotta say in your guys' defense you guys have to create the music that comes from within. Of course, of course. And if, as long as you're doing that, as long as you're staying true to yourselves, fuck it if you don't like it. You're, you can still be a fan. They still play their other music at yeah. live, cause, so come out and see them fucking live, okay? Course, yeah. uh, the reason why people come out and see a band play is because they play from the hearts. And, and how you do that is you play shit that you want to play. Therefore, when the people and the fans pay fucking hard-earned money to see a band play, they're going to see a band that... Kind of gives a fuck, yeah. You know, and uh, we 
we're up there and we're playing what we want to play. And when you do that, you really give it your all. Like we, what you see up there now is all of us, just like the, just like the cleansing days. You guys are a fucking freight train on stage. I mean, <laughs> you, you better get the fuck out of the way if you're not, not ready. Fuck around, man. So come see these guys live. Enough about the music, because we don't want to take all day talking about music, because we're also here with Tattoo.com, as well as Rock Roll and Scene Magazine. So, Eddie, well, we're going to go to you second, because we covered a lot of your stuff at Aftershock. We're still going to go over it. but Oh, so we'll, we'll discuss those. But you, sir, strip. Okay. Uh, I could probably do this very, very soon. Uh, okay. Real quick. So this is my first tattoo. If I, if I get it out. See that? My first tattoo, we were in, the first time we played Moscow, Russia, we all, I got that, Mitch got that, uh, our former bass player, Mike Watkins got that, and Mark got that as well. So that was my, my, my first tattoo. Uh, I didn't like it. You know, I was like, oh, how do people do this all, all over the bodies, dude? <laughs> Fuck. And uh, this was, oh, this was my second one. This has the best story. This is the uh, Black Crown, and uh, the whole band, uh, aside from Eddie, has this on the, on the back of their necks, and Mitch has this on his knee. So it's kind of like a, you know, it was, it was around when Eddie joined, joined the band and uh, kind of made it like a official band. And uh, during this tattoo, like halfway through, I, I passed out. I was like, hey. I was like, I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm, I'm going to pass out. I don't want to say stop because I don't want to be a pussy. I mean, it's, it's, it's basically what happened. And then I'm like, fuck it. I, I passed out. And then the embarrassing part was our tattooist uh, John said, yeah, that doesn't happen. I was like, well, I guess I'm the uh, exception. Whatever. I passed out. I gotta say, <laughs> you know, people ask me, did your head hurt? Did your head hurt? And I said, no. But my neck was very sensitive, and my neck was neck, yeah, neck hurt, uh, neck hurt, neck hurt. So you're not, you're not that big of a pussy, I guess. Thank I'm, you. I'm, you're you're, thank you're you. still pussy, but just not that big of one. <laughs> thank you, sir. Just fuck with it. You got one more. You said you said yes, you had three. Yeah. Okay. So and then the whole band has this one, including Eddie. This, this was our first tour with Eddie in uh, Australia, Soundwave. So we got a drunken koala bear. I got mine right here. Yep. And then Eddie, Eddie has his too. Get, get that. See, Soundwave 14, 2014. And that was my third and maybe last tattoo. <laughs> yeah. so, so we all got that. I, I, li I like when like the whole band gets something that kind of makes me be like, yeah, uh, uh, it sounds cool. Very cool. And that was like one of the last years of Soundwave, wasn't it? Uh, the, yeah, the festival. Like, like the last like really solid year of yeah. Soundwave. So. Yeah. yeah the, year, the year after that, they uh, didn't pay all their bands and... Uh, pretty much went into some serious debt, I guess. Uh, I don't really know personally, but I heard that. Uh, yeah, the, I heard that a lot of the bands n never got their their settlements. So I don't, I don't know the true story, but so that, that's kind of the rumors I heard. But hey, you got two new tattoos. What do you got? Yeah, I got my I got my hand done to complete the uh, the full sleeve. I've been working on this for roughly about six years. Uh, finally, had some time to go visit my buddy Josh Tesca out in Winter Winters, California. Uh, tattoo called Primos Tattoo. Um, and uh, he he did me up, man. It was it was fucking painful, but awesome. Uh, I got that, and then uh, on my uh, on my knee, I'm, I would have to take my pants down. Yes. Which all right, do it, do it. it's happening. Do it. I, I hey, highly suspect did it last year. Johnny just dropped his pants. <laughs> so I got Alex and I decided to get a tour tattoo together. I I promised myself that I would never get a band tattoo, but um, this leg is supposed to represent all my. Uh, all the things that I love and I take advantage of, like food and uh, the, the road and taking death for granted. So uh, it's, you know, the song uh, Take It Easy by the Eagles. Um, we wanted to, we wanted to remind myself and, and I wanted to remind Alex that we need, sometimes you just need to take it easy, you know? So, so that's what it's about. Very cool. Well, thank you for dropping your pants. Of course. Thank you for Eddie. My rock on my the my pleasure. <laughs> Mr. Osmel behind the camera very much enjoyed that. And I hope you <laughs> enjoyed it at, at home. 
if you're offended, you know, you're not offended. No, because you offended. you wouldn't have you wouldn't have Who lasted ten that? seconds in this fucking interview if you were offended. So, yeah, inspire people. You know, we inspire people when we take our pants down. I don't even know what that means, but all right. You can imagine. Just just figure it out. <laughs> well, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, yeah. gentlemen. Of course. Our and we, we hope to see you play tomorrow. Yes. We, I hope we get to play today. Yeah. Come check out the acoustic set. Maybe put it on your little film thing. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, guys. As always, great to see you. Good to see you. Appreciate yeah, it. Of course. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you.